tuning in. Hope you subscribe. If you haven't, subscribe, share it with your friends. Pelican Bay Kennels giving you that dog news. Let's go. First off, I'm gonna start off by saying every black dog ain't an alligator pit. You know what I'm saying? This is the true dog alligator. For all who go, for all who don't know, this is alligator. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who got a black dog who don't know the bloodline, that's what they'll say. They'll say, I got a gator pit. I got a gator pit. And even up to lately, I started seeing red noses saying they gator pits. But um, this is the true dog gator. If your dog not off this dog gator, or coming down off this dog gator's descendants, then you don't got a gator pit. You just got a black pit bull. You know what I'm saying? This is a gator pit. It has nothing to do with his head, has nothing to do with his jaws. That's his name. His name was Alligator. Plumber's Alligator. So, if you don't got a dog that's coming off a of Plumber's Alligator, then you don't got an alligator pit. I don't care what color it is. Next, I seen a brother that asked, I forgot his name and I hate that I forgot it because I want to I wanna say it on the video. I seen a brother that asked, are there people who don't sell to people who live in their area? And I'm going to say yes, for, for a few reasons. Well, for one, you got to watch people coming back to steal your dogs that live right around the corner. Two, if you start selling your dogs to people who all stay in your area, then you're going to end up hunting against something that you bred already. Nine times out of ten, you're going to end up hunting against something that you bred, but it's probably bred a little bit different maybe, but it's going to be some of your blood. So you don't want to flush your blood right in your area. And at the same time, you, when you do that, you could be uh, a dog man that's doing his thing right and you selling your dog to people who, who fucking up your money. They getting the same dogs that you got because you selling your dogs to them and they in your area, they got your dogs selling them and they, 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 they fucking your dogs up. But they fucking you up, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they messing all your money up because they selling their dogs half the price that you selling them for. So a lot of people won't sell them to people in their area. Well, I'm going to sell you a dog when you stay three blocks over, when you're going to just turn around and, you know, sell the dogs and cut my throat. So a lot of people won't do it, but, you know, to each his own. This dog is a brother named Carlo Dog. He, I seen posted up on the post. This dog looks phenomenal. Look at his physique. Look at his whole physique. This dog is a, he looks like he's in shape. You know what I'm saying? I can't just look at him and say he is, but from the looks of things, the dog is in shape. The dog looks real good. You know what I'm saying? Great job, Carlo, on that one. Know your dog weight. Learn your dog weight a few weeks before you decide to go hunting or whatever. Figure out what your dog weight is. Don't undercall, don't overcall, because either way, you're going to be screwed. You know what I'm saying? And if you, you see a little dent between your dog eyebrows, your dog head start to sink in right here, his forehead, you're taking too much weight off your dog. You know what I'm saying? Know your dog, for one, you got to know your dog and know, know what weight your dog hunts the best at. So all that revolves around knowing your dog, taking time up with the, your dog, spending time with your dog, knowing how he moves, knowing how he shifts his body, knowing what he can and can't take. 